cactus and succulent growers, I'm Lynn, and welcome to Desert Plants of Avalon in the north of Ireland. And in today's video is just a quick update on the Hawarthia attenuatata that I have grown for 41 years. One of the very, very, very first plants that I ever had in my collection when I was just a little kitty. And uh, I did a video, uh, possibly a couple of months ago now, of how I revived it because it was looking sort of very shriveled and not looking too good. And I did say I'll do an update on it in a few weeks time when it's really recovered. So then, here is a photograph of what my Hawarthia attenu attenuata looked like before I revamped it. As you can see, a bit shriveled and in desperate need. And here is what it looks like now. Woohoo! Look at that bowl of happiness. Isn't it just gorge? Green and healthy and absolutely thriving. Now, I'm really happy to see this because I potted it up. I and I before I go into too much detail on what I did, if you didn't see the video when I revived my this Hawarthia, do go ahead and watch that one after you've seen this one. Or go ahead and watch it first. I'll link that video up above. And um, with, with Hawarthias, I find that because they have the lovely fleshy roots, it's also the same as well with aloes and gasteria as well, and even agaves. They have the, the very thick sort of fleshy white roots. And when I repot them, I often have to prune back the roots, the, the dead roots anyway, because they tend to, every couple of years or so, the, the old roots tend to die off and go brown, and then they produce these new roots. And if you don't repot them regularly and keep on top of it, then the plants can often sort of go quite brown and shrivelly. It's just something I notice with Hawarthias and Gasterias and um, even aloes and the, the like. They tend to do this. And I've, I've also made a video on how to do all the pruning on the roots and everything like that as well. So I'll link that video also up above and do go ahead and watch it after this one if you've got these type of plants. And... I cut back the, the dried up roots and I potted it back up into soil, left it a week or two and then gave it a water and I've just been keeping regularly on top of it and it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's a green whole bowl of green happiness and it just looks remarkable now. And this is why it's important to sort of keep on top with repottings and root prunings of, of Hawarthias because otherwise they can dry up. And when I did the video, I wanted to do a video particularly on this because this is one plant that I got when I was, I think I was about, only about 12 years old. It's one that my brother got from a garden center when I was a, a child. And I, that's what really got me into cacti and succulents. So this is one I've had in my collection, as I say, 41 years. And it was just one little head when I got it. And over, over the years, it has produced multiple, multiple pups. And I've also got other pups from it as well that I've propagated. But the old, sometimes the old heads would die back as well. So it's one that you do have to keep re, replanting and repropagating to make it look good. But look at it now. And I said to people I would do an update on this once it recovers. But I didn't expect it to recover so fast. It's gorgeous. And do stay tuned, guys, for an update on all of my Hawarthia and Gasteria and Aloe. Well, maybe not the Aloes because that's another category as well. But my Gasteria and Hawarthia collection, which I'm going to be doing in the next week or two, or a couple of weeks anyway, because I've got a, I've got a good collection and they're also doing very, very well. I tend to notice that the early autumn, late summer is when they're really really do sort of come on and I'm going to be doing an update on all the gorgeous Hawarthias that my wonderful friends Daz and Edith at Cacti Mania sent me about three months ago because they are doing absolutely incredible now so I'm going to do an update on them as well and show you the the whole collection in a in a video coming up very soon so there we go doesn't it look great guys 
and uh, I just want to thank you all so much for your amazing support and comments for lots more tips and tricks on how you can grow and care for many different types of cacti and succulents then please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos and um, also for more growing tips do check out the many articles on my website desertplantsofavalon.com I want to wish you all an absolutely fantastic cactus and succulent plant powered day! Whoa! One happy bowl of Hawarthia!